Back to the two of us playing without Barack. The two most sexy men must surely win this game. Whoa, is that you being racist because Barack isn't a fellow white man? No, of course not. I love and find all people sexy, no matter their color or race. Donnie, please don't say stuff like that. People may hear it and actually think it's true. I don't know about that, Joey boy. I think I remember you saying something racist like that when we weren't recording. No, complete lies. I would never. If anything, I would say anyone not white is far superior. Mate, you are definitely mentally ill if that's how you actually think. Putting down your own race just because of what shit people spout these days. You don't sound like a fellow BLM supporter, Donnie. That's because I don't support that shit. I am an All Lives Matter supporter. Nah, that's just racist. Why do you hate the blacks? I don't. I just don't think saying one race's lives matter is a necessary statement. If anything, that's the racist thing to say. Really, it should be all lives matter as all lives are equal. Well, kind of of equal. If you're a rich motherfucker like me, then obviously my life matters more than some brokey. Oh my, you are making me feel sick with these completely shocking words. Oh well, man up, you pussy. Oh shit, people trying to kill me, Donnie. Let me change my previous statement then. Instead of man up, why don't I say get up? Oh no, you can't because you're dead like a complete baddie boy. But while I'm at it, let me finish the baddie boy that killed you. Well, at least you killed him. Now go revive me, Donnie. Whoa, did you just assume that person's gender by calling the individual a him? Oh shit, that was a complete accident. I am so sorry to anyone watching. I regret my actions and strive to be a better person going forward. Ha ha ha! Are you actually apologizing over that shit? I can't tell what's more embarrassing. Your Fortnite skills or your behavior? Man, whatever. Just land and reboot me already, you punk. Um, excuse me, I'm not a man. I'm a cisgender turd burglar. Shut up, Donnie. I know you would always identify as a man. And what the fuck is a turd burglar? Well, I guess that makes sense as I am an actual man unlike the so-called men of the left. And a turd burglar is pretty self-explanatory. A turd is a poo and a burglar steals. Therefore, a turd burglar is a poo stealer. Okay, time for us to loot the vault. We can be rich. Why? What kind of valuables are in the vault? Well, picture if JP Morgan and Chase Bank's total assets were in a vault. That's what we stand to gain. So you are telling me we are going to make like $4 trillion? Well, I know you are shit with money due to how much you keep giving away in foreign aid. But no, pal. We are not actually going to make $4 trillion considering that it is larger than every country's GDP apart from our country, China, and Japan. But we will get some good loot in the vault, a strong weapon, and a few blue chests. Shut up. I am amazing with our country's spending, but cool. I love to open blue chests as you can get such good loot out of them. Yippee. Ha 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 ha. I didn't say you would get to open the chests. I just said you would get the loot from them. If you weren't so blind, you would notice there are people inside the vault shooting at us. But we will still get that delicious loot, but just off of their dead bodies. This is actually going to be so hard. Not only do we need to focus on the players, they also got an annoying ass turret shooting our bodies. Yeah, that's all fine. Just keep peeking. Small damage adds up. Once we take one out, then we can just push and the turret will get destroyed when we kill them. Okay, I like the plan. Hopefully this works out as expected. Should do, but my aim needs to stop being shitty and start hitting them hard. I'll give you a solution. Just start hitting your shots. Easy solutions. Oh, thanks, Joe. I would never have thought to do that. You're welcome, Broski. And see, it's working. You are now hitting your shots. Because I listened to your amazing tip. Now, I gotta say, this fight is pretty long-winded. Didn't know they could be this long in zero builds. Just gotta hope they either run out of heels or patience before we do. I believe in us. We are too good. Facts! Now listen, Donnie. In the realm of Fortnite, where pixels collide, two figures emerge, filled with great pride. Joe Biden and Donald Trump, a battle to ensue. Their virtual selves ready to pursue. With strategies honed and skills refined, they land on the island, their minds intertwined. Building their confidence, gathering loot, they navigate the landscape with resolute. Can you shut up for a second? I just came in like big balls Donnie does and just took out those healing motherfuckers. Free loot for me as you're too far behind, ha ha ha. Yeah, decent kill, but fuck you. I was pouring my emotions into that great poem that I handcrafted and you just rudely interrupted. Yeah, because the present gameplay is more important than some shitty poem. Shitty, it's a fucking masterpiece. Now turn your mic off or I will mute you while you listen to it again, you rude didlo. Cool, whatever, just hurry it up. In the realm of Fortnite, where pixels collide, two figures emerge, filled with great pride. Joe Biden and Donald Trump, a battle to ensue. Their virtual selves ready to pursue. With strategies honed and skills refined, they land on the island, their minds intertwined. Building their confidence, gathering loot, they navigate the landscape with resolute. As the storm closes in, the tension mounts, 
The battle intensifies, defying all counts. Biden aims true, taking out a foe, while Trump demolishes all structures below. They clash in a firefight, bullets flying, both determined, neither one dying. With swift movements and quick reflexes, they outsmart opponents, leaving them in messes. Yeah, well done, Joe. Absolutely amazing. Well, that doesn't seem sincere. That's because it wasn't, I got gameplay to focus on, not shitty poems about how good I am at Fortnite and how you just follow my leads and barely do anything. That is not what it was about. It was about us being a united duo who dominates the lobby. Yeah, but that's fake news. We only dominate lobbies because of me. And therefore, it doesn't matter who I play with. I will dominate. I can't say the same for you, however. You rude prick. Whatever, Joe, you will get over it. Plus, I'm helping to build your character. You are to much of an emotional pussy. Nah, I'm not a pussy. And I believe there are people ahead. I need to teach these guys a lesson and finish them off. Whoa, you seem kind of angry and emotional now, pal. Also, there you go with assuming their gender. This is really poor from you, Joe. I might have to get you impeached. This is embarrassing to the American people. Yeah, of course I'm angry and emotional. You keep hurting my feelings. Also, assuming their gender was another accident. Again, I am so sorry to anyone who may have been offended by those inconsiderate assumptions. Stop being so fragile and well done for that kill. That must have been some hard work. It was indeed. Still got his teammate to deal with, though. You look like you're about to die. Oh, there we go, ha ha ha. Shut up, just kill him. I got him super weak. Considering I did a ton of damage from here, that seems kind of like a lie, Joe. Oh, whatever. I got the exotic shotgun, so suck my dick. Well, I could let you bleed out if I want it. You better not. I will be nice. At least for now, I will. You'll be up in a jiffy. Well, thanks, Donnie, for not being a complete dick for once. It's hard not to be one, considering I have an absolutely massive schlong. That's why they call me Tripod Donnie. I haven't ever heard a single person call you that. Not even your wife or Stormy Daniels. Fuck off about Stormy Daniels. She's old news, a proper drip if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you, ha ha ha. Well, you cheered up real quick, going from crying about a minute ago because I'm mean to be the one throwing out the insults. You really need to learn to take it if you're gonna dish it out, honey buns. I will do as I please. That's what being the current president of the United States of America allows me to be, you bitch-ass dickhead. Damn, you really manned up in the last few minutes? I told you that by me being mean to you, it would build character? Whatever. Someone in the storm. I gotta kill this drip and assert my male dominance. Go on then, Donnie. I wanna see your so-called male dominance in action. Take the player out with no health loss. Don't you already see it in action? I'm running full speed into battle through a damaging storm. All I see is you running out of the storm like a bitch. That's because he broomed out like a proper bitch. And now his teammate wants some as well. Rookie mistake. Um, seems like you're the one running, Donnie. Running in defeat, ha ha ha. Well, I did crazy damage to him. But I'm also weak after having to trek into the storm, kill his teammate and deal with a turret. And this is all as a solo duo as you are nowhere to be seen. I don't want to hear all your excuses. I just wanted to see the results. And the results are in. You are a pussy boy. Well, they say you are what you eat, and Jill hands it to me on a platter daily. You crude motherfucker, shut up before I beat you up. I think we both know how that's gonna end, haha. -huh. Well, I got back up. I have the Secret Service. Get scared, Donnie, get scared. I think that you forget that I have it too, brah. I didn't forget, I just don't care. I have way more of them at my disposal. Easy dubs, just like Fortnite. Cool, whatever. Anyway, I do have to say I will be kind of sad if this broom leaves at the end of the season. It's been so good. Decent cooldown time gets you a far distance and works instantly, unlike the rocket. Yeah, the only good thing about the rocket over the broom is its damage of 50 if you hit someone with it. But in zero builds like we do, that's not all that handy. Could see it being great in builds, though, as not only does it do 50 damage, but will destroy all their builds. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Do any of you watching play builds more than zero builds? If so, do you prefer the rocket over the broom? Yeah, good question. Let us know, guys. Also, guys, let Donald and I know if you like the videos like this much longer and contain the full game footage instead of the highlights. Also, guys, let Donald and I know if you like the videos like this much longer and contain the full game footage instead of the highlights. So, Joe, this video is going up on the 3rd of November. Do you know what that means? Um, that it will be a lovely Friday. Well, Fridays are nice, but something even better. The new Fortnite season is going to drop and it's going to be great. Back to the chapter one map we go. Oh yeah, that's going to be so much fun. I've seen all the leaks, the pump and scar are returning, even the ATK and the ballers. I literally cannot wait. Neither can I. Getting back to Pleasant Park, Loot Lake, Dusty Divot, Retail Row, Salty Springs, Tilted Towers, and a few of the other legendary spots is going to be so fresh. 
Well, I don't know if fresh is the right word, as it's actually old stuff. Ha ha ha, shut up, man. You know what I mean, Broski. I do. I do indeed. Considering I'm so hyped, I'm going to treat you to a poem instead, Joey boy. Oh, yippee. Go on then, Donnie. Let's hear it. In Fortnite's realm, a new season arrives. Back to chapter one, season five. Bounty hunters and warriors from far and wide gathered in this dimension where dreams collide. The zero points unstable, realities at stake as characters from different worlds partake. From the Mandalorian to Kratos, they unite in the hunt for victory under the starry night. Tilted towers transformed into a wild west. Saloon doors swing as players are put to the test. Cactus-filled deserts and canyons so vast, a vibrant landscape where adventures are cast. The ancient ruins hide secrets untold with artifacts and quests waiting to unfold. Fortnite's island morphs, ever-changing and vast, as players build, fight, and have a great blast. Back to the best weapons and vehicles with each passing day bring excitement and chaos in an epic display. Snipers, shotguns, and melee strikes, strategies formed in battle's chaotic light. Are you happy to go back and are ready to attack? Oh, Donald, I really like that. Really getting me ready for the new season. And yes, I'm both ready to go back and attack. Speaking of attacking, I know Barack is going to love this season. I've seen the leaks, and it shows that planes are returning. And you know what that means? I believe I do. It means Barack can get back to airstriking ways. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, my days. I can't believe it. I think that is the first ever time you have actually thought of what I was thinking and not some retarded ass thing like you normally come out with. What can I say, Donnie? I'm getting my head screwed on for the new season G unit. So, Joe, have you got a poem to read? This is one of the rare moods where I don't mind hearing one. Of course I do. Enjoy this masterpiece. In the land of Fortnite, a battle brew. Donald Trump and Joe Biden, an unlikely crew. With their policies set aside for a while, they joined forces, getting a victory royale. Trump built towers, tall and grand while Biden strategized with a steady hand. Their emotes were epic, their dances supreme. In this virtual world, they were quite the dream team. Trump's hair blew wild in the desert breeze. Biden's aims on point, putting minds at ease. They fought side by side in a difficult fight, taking down opponents left and right. Make Fortnite great again, Trump would shout, insisting that Biden builds walls, protecting their route. Their opponents were stunned their jaws on the floor. Who knew these two rivals could work together for more? They rode on a battle bus, Trump with a grin. Biden waved to the crowd while wearing a fin. With their differences set aside, they fought for the crown, showing the world true teamwork upside down. I actually didn't mind that one. Definitely one of your better ones, pal. Thanks, Donnie. It means a lot coming from you. When will these retards stop shooting at me? They are taking the piss now. You're fine. Just stay behind the rock and they will forget all about you. Don't think they will. But anyway, if someone shoots at me, I'm not letting them get away with it. One of us is ending up in a body bag and I would bank on it being them. Whoa, Donald, take a chill pill, dude. It's just a few shots. You can easily shield up and be back to full health and shield. There's nothing to worry about. I never said I was worried. I just need to teach them a lesson to never shoot at Big Balls Donnie ever again. <laughs> okay, teach them a lesson then, Donald. That's what I'm doing. Already hit one of them a few times. I hope they're shivering in fear now, motherfuckers. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised. Damaging them with powerful bullets and then brooming over to them to finish the job is a real display of dominance. I know it is. But I have to say that it coming from you makes it sound like you are either trying to kiss my ass or that you're being sarcastic. Just trying to be nice, Donald. Want to make sure we go into the new season on good terms so we can get a victory royale in the first game or two. No two games are needed. It will be in the first game. That's how you start a new season. You need to start it in complete manly top G style. Sounds good, man. However, I do need to say you need to stop getting dropped like you just did. I left you for 30 seconds to kill his teammate and you got done in like a body basher. This will not run next season. You need to be able to look after yourself. Yeah, I will try. My other mate told me about these aiming drills you can do in creative. I will do some of those to increase my skill level, Donnie. Don't worry. That worried me all the more. How have you just found out about those? They have been a thing for years. They're so old, I can tell you that I've not touched one in like three plus years. 
You've not touched a three-year-old in years? What the fuck, Donnie? That is so unbelievably disturbing. Considering that's how you took the words, I am worried for any kids that are around you. It was a joke. Relax. I don't know. I've seen weird videos with you and kids. I wouldn't also be surprised if you were a frequent flyer on Epstein Airways. What is Epstein Airways? Jeffrey Epstein, meaning about you going on a plane to his island, you drip. Never. The only way I go to an island is on a battle bus. Ha ha ha. At least it's not a school bus. Fuck you, Donald. Fuck you. Damn, what a kill. Absolute destruction. Why do you never pay attention when I am rude to you? Mainly because I don't value your opinion, so I don't really care what shit you spout. Oh, that's quite sad to hear, to be honest. Suck it up! Shut it yourself. Now listen up, Donald. This is how good I will be after I hit up creative. In the land of Fortnite, where battles are fought, there lies a player, Joe Biden, seeking to be taught. With aiming drills and creative, he hones his skills to become a better player with determination that thrills. In the virtual world, he builds his fort, learning from every defeat, never to abort. With each shot fired, his aim grows true. Joe Biden, the player, seeking victories too. As he practices his aim, his fingers steady and swift, he knows that improvement is a gradual lift. With perseverance and practice, he'll reach new heights. Joe Biden, the player, embracing the fight. I heard one great thing in there, Joe. Learning to never abort when you learn that you will be a tiny bit more manly as running from a fight is a bitch thing to do. Yeah, I'm gonna get so good. And thanks for the accelerant shotgun, pal. No problem, Joe. And not to sure about good, maybe average, but average will do when you don't have the Trump name? There is no way I'm average. I'm definitely superior. Look at the current game stats. 13 people left with 17 squad kills. That's well above average. And I would agree with you if this was, say, solo. But considering it's duos, I have had to reboot you this game. And only four of those 17 kills are yours. It still seems pretty average, ha ha ha. I'll show you average when I win us this game. And if you can get eight kills, so four more, I will agree with you. Until then, you are just being carried by big balls, Donnie. Well, what about when I'm not playing with you? I'm not getting carried by you and still get those dubs. That's because you get carried by the other person. Like when you play with BBC Barack, he gets like 80% of the kills. Ha ha ha. He only gets 80% of the kills because I let the bender have them. Whoa, did you just make an extremely homophobic comment in 2023? That is so appalling. I actually feel sick to the core. I would never be so rude. But even if I did, I can do whatever the fuck I like. That's what being the president allows. Get on my level, you bitch boy fag. Whoa, you're a body basher, uphill gardener, turf turner, and turd burglar, so keep being gay. If I actually cared what you said, I would be sitting here in defeat, but I don't. So suck my dick. I don't want to get anywhere near that small chode. You probably don't even shave, as I always see hair in Jill's mouth. Well, unless that's the loose hair from her mustache. Shut up, I do shave and Jill doesn't have any sort of mustache. If anything, that's Barrack's husband. Why are you now bending over? I don't want to bum your hairy ass. Shut up, you bitch. I don't want to bend over in a corner and you're throwing me over your shoulder like a sex doll. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, guys, hope you are enjoying the video so far. Again, if you could support the channel using the support a creator code gaming POTUS, we would really appreciate it. Yeah, that is one of the few things I will agree with Donald on. Get that code in, fellas. Not many people left now. We're going to get this win to end season four in the best possible way. Let's do it. Oh, my. This guy is trying to run after trying to hit me with a rocket. I wonder if it's Obama on his other account. Ha ha ha. Wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. I also wonder what BBC Barack is going to do once they vault the rocket. Will he still play with us or just sit in his office in defeat? Probably just sit in his office in defeat. Ha ha ha. And oh my, so many gold guns around here. Hopefully the other people left can pick them up so it's a fair fight, even though I will still obliterate them into ash. You mean that we can obliterate them into ash? No, it will probably be me doing the damage. And I think he is over here, Joe. If you feel like helping, that is. Oh, never mind. Too late. I killed him in a second. Good work there, Donnie. Great way to finish season four. Peace, homies.